Greetings citizens and thanks for joining me here today at Smash and Crash for a quick look at the Aegis Dynamics Gladius. Like the ad says, the Aegis Gladius has a laser-like focus on dogfighting. The Scorpion GT up front is a great ballistic weapon for just shredding your opponents. The power plants are located towards the center of the ship, which is useful to know to swap them out, but it's also useful to know if you're ever fighting one of these things. It also comes equipped with six missiles, two Ignite 2s on each wing, and one Arrestor 3 on each wing, as well as uh, two of the Bulldog Repeaters, one mounted on each wing. Let's wander around to the other side, just to show you that the weapons are in fact the same, and I'm not just lying for no good reason, and we're gonna go check out the cockpit real quick, then it's off to Arena Commander and the Verse. The Gladius is a one-seater with zero cargo capacity, so make sure that you know if you buy this thing as your primary, that this is going to be a dogfighter, it's going to be great for missions like that, protections, short-range stuff, but it is not good for, well, hauling anything or picking anyone else up. So, just an FYI, it's very purpose-built. One quick spin around the outside and then we're on our way. Forgive some of the jumping and bugginess here, this was done uh, partially during the free fly and for some reason the hangar wasn't being too terribly cooperative. Alright, let's hop out of this thing and go check it out in the universe. Sorry for the delay, I just like watching the entrance and exit animations. Before getting into the combat, let's go ahead and take a look at the speeds. Now one thing to remember is when you're maneuvering in this ship, be very careful about blacking out, redding out, uh, whichever one it might be. This one used to be notorious for making people black out. It's gotten a lot better with recent updates, but let's have a look at the speeds here. Space combat mode starts off at 280 meters a second, not bad. Uh, the boost goes up to 385 and it cruises at a nice and speedy 835 meters a second. I happened across a retaliator while I was flying around, which is great because I wanted to show you the weapons next anyway. The Bulldog Repeaters have about 17 seconds before they overheat, and this shows you that the armor on something like a retaliator is very heavy. I'm hitting all over this thing because it's spinning, and it's still not quite breaking through. When you focus more on one spot, it works a little better, but these aren't super heavy hitting weapons. System overheating. The Scorpion's a ballistic Gatling, so it has an increased shield penetration rate. However, it only has about an 8 second fire time before it starts to overheat, so be sure to use your shots wisely. System overheat. And just because I think it's funny, here's 2 minutes of shooting narrowed down to 20 seconds. <laughs> Sorry if that was a waste of your time, I just really love the sound effects during that. Look, this is a great ship for dogfighting, short range combat and all that, but if you're going up against a bigger ship, it's great to have them distracted and do damage here and there, take out uh, strategic points on the ships. Just remember that when it's up against something big, it doesn't have the stamina and the guns to keep taking it out in any kind of a quick fashion, so it's best used in a team environment in that case. Let's wrap this up with some dogfighting. To look at the Gladius, you wouldn't think that it's weak, but you wouldn't think that it's very sturdy either, and it surprisingly is pretty sturdy. I bumped into asteroids more times than I'd care to count, but it's also very maneuverable and responsive. One final reminder, be careful about taking those sharp turns. With any ship, you can black out, but the Gladius still seems to be a little bit more common than others. Thanks again for joining me here at Smash and Crash for this quick look at the vicious Aegis Gladius. If you liked what you saw, please feel free to share and subscribe. If you didn't, shoot me an email, comment, let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you very much once again, and I will see you in the verse. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it.